All right, boys, how you guys doing? It's Wild Jacob. It's your boy. I hope you guys are doing well. This is the first time I'm logging in for the day, and I have I typically do uh, some reviews of what is actually dropped on these content days, so I have a little bit of an idea, and I know what to say, but we're going to go into this one blind. I mean, as you can see, I'm just now opening my free pack. Um, I haven't been on Reddit, Twitter, nothing, so I, I honestly have no idea what to expect and what we're going to get ourselves into. Let me move the mouse out of the way. There we go. So, unranked, unranked, uh, where are we at? Oh, oh, there we go, my bad. Anyways, here we go, here we go, boys. Uh, headliners we know about, St. Pat's Day we know about, and uh, these are new. Okay, so we got uh, Pat Maroon, Bunting, Smith, Train, Dumon, Stature, Winberg, Middlestat, Carrick, and uh, the Bo Byram and the Koozie. I mean, the, I mean, Koozie's... I like Koozie, so not a bad card. And the Bo Byram card actually looks pretty good, too, just from the quick statistics. Uh, custom trade line builds here. Timu Solani, Peter Forsberg, and Ron Francis. Um, all custom builds are fantastic. I imagine that Timu Solani is going to be selling for a, a lot. He, he's Even his power-up collective, his power-up icon, excuse me, is fantastic. Um, and we'll, we'll look at the other two, but mainly I want to see the Timu Solani. You know, we'll, we'll just check them all out at this point. Um, Okposo, this might have been Tuesdays. Uh, yeah, so you, just some players here. I mean, they're not usable, unfortunately, um, unless you have a theme team. So, you got a theme team, go pick them up. Our live moments here, the headliners, it looks like this was Tuesday as well. Um, Connor Bedard got a 92. Uh, Marchi, Tarasenko got an 89. Hellebuck got a card. Aho's X Factor goes into a 94 now, and Hedman is up to a 94 as well. Uh, I'm sure that Hedman card plays fantastic. We know he is 6'7, like 200 pounds, so fantastic card. And I bet that Connor Bedard shot is fantastic as well. So we'll check a couple of those out. Uh, some custom elite cards here Daniel Briere. Uh, looks like he's fast. He's fast as fuck, boy. Um, and uh, Todd Bertuzzi, good skating, good shot. Good checking, that's a really good body check. So he's gonna be a good power forward, and he's got the synergy for it. Uh, Rob Blake used his style icon card a lot, and I really liked it. And uh, Joe Newendijk, so uh, not not too bad on those cards. And here are today's releases. It looks like we're gonna get a, a Jack Eichel upgrade, a Shosturkin, Rantanen, and Kaprizov's gonna his X Factor's gonna go to a 95. So these are all good. I'll have to upgrade my Eichel as well and a Barkov. So not bad. Oh, and Quinn Hughes and Heiskanen got an upgrade too. So there we go. An old Demko. I got to get rid of my 87 Demko, guys. I got to pick up one of the new ones. It's just, I don't want to spend money on a goalie. I really do not want to spend the money on a freaking goalie right now with Team of the Season around the corner. And, of course, we have the new packs. Uh, it looks like, what is that, the 81 Plus and some Jumbo Elite Packs, a Choice Pack. We'll check those out real quick just because it's a quick... It's a quick trip to the, to the store. Toronto packs are still in at this time, and we have an 81 plus overall choice pack. Uh, damn. I typically, those are, those aren't bad odds, honestly. But $34 a pack is, uh, it's a bit much. The multi pack here looks to be, eh, it looks pretty decent. And the last one here is the NHL player choice pack. I'm imagining this is straight up just for team builders, and if you want an icon, go for that. And they've added some team builder as well, if these may have already been there, but they're there. So if you got the cash, go get your team builders. All right, here we are with that Peter Forsberg, 6'1", 205, uh, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. He's got silver puck on a string, silver elite edges, silver unstoppable force, gold back at you, which has been buffed. Uh, decent shot. Do we can he get? He can get shooting boost, so he's gonna get. He's his shots gonna be pretty high. Um, and yeah, and he's got high face-offs, so definitely, definitely, definitely not a bad not a bad center to pick up. Ron Francis here, six three two hundred, a bigger player, ninety four speed, gold quick draw with shooting boost. So he he is the, in the same category with ninety nine face-offs. This is a pretty good freaking center right here, pretty good center boys. Um, and I don't he might be in the Toronto packs. You boys, let me know if you pull, if you pack him in the Toronto packs. But if he if he's in the Toronto packs and you pull him out of the Toronto packs. You got yourself a great card. 
The man, the myth, the legend, Team Mussolini, 97 speed, 97 excel, gold make it snap, he was shrugged off elite edges, an ankle breaker, the shot is high, he gets sniper, he gets his shooting boost, boy this, this card's fantastic, just, if you got the cash or you got the luck, pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be worth it. Alright, real quick, the Kirill Kaprizov here, gold make it snappy, high speed, high shot, great hands, checking, it's kind of what we expect. Uh, he shoot, he, these, these shooting boosts and sniper boosts don't matter. Activate something that'll get him his speed boost. Do do, do that. Um, yeah, the great card. I mean, we're at the point now where all cards are just going to be kind of just fantastic. 94 Jack Eichel, 95 speed, gold make it snappy again, boys. Another great card. But if you have his X Factor, you ain't got to worry about it because his X Factor will go up to 99. All right, so I want to do a little something different. Here is Quinn Hughes's his X Factor at 94. He goes up to 98 speed. His shot is still in the low 90s, but if you get if you get the right synergies activated, he's pretty high. And again, I won't keep this card basically until the end of the game. So he will be eventually 99 overall, and he is smaller. And you know, at a certain point, size does matter. So he will start to regress. All right, boys, here we are with the 95 Miro Heiskanen, 6'1", 195 pounds. High speed, he's got gold. I mean, high speed, I mean, he's got 95 speed, good acceleration, good skating. I mean, his shot, his slap shot accuracy and slap shot, and wrist shot actually is a little low, but the power's there. And, uh, you know, with Heat Seeker, it's, that's a fun ability to play around with. Silver quick pick, silver shutdown. I mean, these are the two abilities you want. Um, he gets offensive boost, defensive defenseman. I mean, boys, it's a great, it's a great, it's a good looking defenseman. And just to show it off real quick, Thatcher Demko at a at 6'4", he's a big old boy, and uh, was showstopper. So that's that's a great ability for uh, Thatcher Demko, in my opinion. All right, boys, I know this wasn't showed in the little uh, hut hub area, but we do have some new some new uh, hut champs cards. Honestly, it makes me very happy. They're all golden. They're all golden knights, and I would like to try to start my golden knight theme team. So I may be picking up a couple of them. Uh, we've got Ivan Barbashev here at his max, and we're talking, I mean, mid-90s all around. It's, he is he is an overall just decent player. He's going to have gold truculence, but let me tell you, he was laying hits in the playoffs, and I cannot wait. This may be the first card I make. Uh, low face-off, so I may play him on the wing, but great card. I'm kind of excited to use him. Here we got the next one, Aiden the Mountain Hill. Let me tell you, 6'4", 215. When I said Thatcher Demko was a big boy, this is a big boy. I am excited, and Aiden Hill is going to be my new goalie. He is probably going to be my next card. You'll have to tune in on Friday when we start opening packs and start doing our rewards because we're going to hold it off till Friday for Team of the Season. But let me tell you, I'm feeling it, boys. Aiden Hill, let's get it. Nick Waugh, another night. Uh, honestly, I'm not. I've, I've watched him play a couple times. Not his biggest fan. The card here looks pretty decent. Um, he's got unstoppable force, six four two oh two. So he is a big boy. Silver quick draw, ninety five face offs, which is good. Which is good. So not a bad card. If you like the knights, go pick him up. And Braden McNabb, ninety four, um, ninety five defensive overall. 6'4", 215, another big boy. I'm going to tell you, but, I mean, they just they just released a bunch of big boys. So it, it's, it's time to just go get them. It's time to start playing to the physicality of what Hut becomes after April. Pick up the big players with a high speed. It's going to be worth it. And uh, these 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 cards are going to be becoming the meta. Maybe not these cards in particular, but just the, the bigger players with the higher speed. Um, but these are a start. I mean, they're not going to make, they're not going to make 99, but it just makes my heart happy to see, to see EA giving some love to the Knights. Real quick, boys, we got, uh, Rob Blake. I absolutely loved Rob Blake's style icon card. He played fantastic for me. Um, he played above his overall, at least it's the way I felt. Um, 6'4", 220, another big boy. I feel like, I feel like that's going to be the title of this video. It's just big old boy at this point. Gold truculent, silverborn leader, silver elite edges, and silver thunderclap. I don't think I have to go over his stats here. I mean, it's kind of what we're expecting. He's got a high shot, high shot, slap shot power. His defensive awareness is a little low at 92, but uh, he does get what is that two two-way defenseman, so that'd be a 95, and you can get his defensive boost. So 
so that'll definitely be higher. So boosted, he'd probably be a good player still. Newendike here, um, 6'2", 205, 93 speed, 93 excel. Mid-90s on the shot. His hands are pretty good. I, I, feel like, I feel like at this point, all these cards I'm going to say are pretty good because they really are going to be. Silver quick draw, silver no contest, silver mega snappy, and gold no or gold close quarters. So, a great card. Uh, not honestly, not a. I didn't watch him play. So, Todd Bertuzzi, another power forward. So, if you've got a theme team for power forwards, uh, this is your guy to pick up. And he's got unstoppable force with silver truculence, silver silver close quarters, and silver back at you. 93 speed, 93 excel, mid 90 shots. His body checking, it's there, boys. So this is your hitter. This is going to be your enforcer. Um, and he can shoot. So, and if we're talking about our enforcer, right here we got Daniel Breer, who is going to be your little speed demon. Let me tell you. 99 speed, silver wheels, and uh, gold shrug it off. Uh, yes, please. He's, he's going to be able to take a hit. He's going to be able to get up. And he's going to be able to shoot. But the defensive and the body are going to be lacking. So just know he's a little bit of a glass cannon. All right, real quick, let's look at the... Um, the live moments, honestly, here, if Sebastian Ajo does not have gold quick draw, I'm not here for it. Um, six foot, 176, silver, I mean, gold elite edges, silver pocket of strings, silver tape to tape, and silver shrug it off. Lower speed than I'd like to see on him, so he's a little slower, a little bit higher of a shot. His hands are maxed out, and the defense and the checking is a little to be left, left uh, for, so a little bit slower. I, I think there's better cards out here, boys, in this one. Victor Hedman, 6'7", 245. Heavyweights came out to play. Silver shutdown, silver quick picks, silver lead edges, and that gold heat seeker. Uh, the slap shot and wrist on accuracy, though. Uh, I don't know if you boys see that. So, it's a little low at an 87 for a 94. So, just keep that in mind. Um, again, here we go. Defense looks pretty good. His checking looks good, and his hands overall look not bad at all. He does get speed bo accelerator boost. Um, so that'll make him a little faster, but still, he sticks that stick out there and it just covers so much ground, so it's still worth it. All right, Barkov here, 6'3", 215. He's got gold, no contest, silver, and stop four, silver born leader, and silver, silver lead edges. Uh, a bit slower. I did want to cover him, but a little bit slower. His shot's low. I, yeah, I'd... Don't get, don't 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 get this card, boys. He does get speed boost, but don't go after this card unless you're a, unless you're a Panthers fan. All right, and you know I had to cover him. He is the golden boy of the NHL right now. Connor Bedard at 5'10", 185. Uh, we're actually the same size. That's interesting. Uh, 91 speed, a little slower. His shot is there. His hands are fantastic. His checking is not there, and his defense is just a little bit to be left, but we know how Connor Bedard is. He's got that gold shrug it off to help him take the hit. Silver unstoppable force, make it snappy. He does get speed boost, and he does get playmaking and sniper forward. So overall, I think Connor, does Connor Bedard have a custom build? I'm not sure, but Connor, Connor Bedard cards always play well. But boys, in my honest opinion, he is going to get a team of the season in the Young Guns that is going to be released on Friday. So... That hold off, and unless you pack him and you really just want to play him, because you know team of the season is not guaranteed. So, but it's like Connor Bedard who doesn't want to use him. It's like Connor McDavid. All right, boys, that was a little bit of a longer video. Um, I'm starting to incorporate a Tuesday and Wednesday update cycle. Um, I just feel like sometimes that Tuesday, Tuesday doesn't bring a lot. Um, that they released the custom builds yesterday, and that was really about it. Monday was the, was a huge drop, surprise drop with the Toronto packs and the jerseys. And Wednesday they did bring some heat with some of the live moments, the new trade deadlines, the live yeah the live moments, the trade deadlines. So it, it, there there was a, there was a lot of ground to cover. And the team right here we're just trying to get done with objectives, so don't worry about it. All your favorites from the team will be back, and uh, I think that's gonna do it. I think it's been a I think it's been an eventful episode. Um, you boys. Hope you boys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know. Leave a comment down. Let me know which player you're trying to go after or if you're just going to wait till team of the season. There's nothing wrong with that either. So, I'm going to get out of your hair. You boys have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. You take care. Bye.